Looking back on, on your Dodger career, what are some of the things that stand out to you, some, some highlights and memories? I think the highlight was definitely getting to my first postseason in 2004, and it was done in, in such a dramatic fashion when, when Steve Finley hit the, the walk-off grand slam against the Giants um, to clinch it with one day left in the season. So it was, it was really an amazing year and, and, and run, uh, but that was, that was definitely a highlight. Played with a lot of great players, a lot of great friends. Adrian Beltre, you know, is, I think he's probably the, the best all-around player that I've played with. So I had the, you know, the good fortune of playing with him for five years. Um, you know, Paul Duke was a great player. I got to watch Eric Gagne dominate, and um, you know, was, there's a lot of a lot of good times there for sure. And when you mentioned some of your teammates, um, you know, from your Dodger days, and I have to also bring up Tommy Lasorda, uh, a very colorful character. Did he ever have any advice for you? He would always come over and you know give me a hug when he was around the clubhouse before game, and you know, a handful of times it happened where I hit a home run that day. And you know, if, if you ask Tommy, he would say, I came down there seven times and gave him a hug seven times and he had seven home runs. So, and he believed that, he really did. And he was a little sort of hug. And so now I'm on the Mets, you know, in, in 2006, and we're playing the Dodgers in the first round of the postseason. And we're at Shea Stadium, and I'm telling my teammates on the Mets, I'm like, watch, Tommy's gonna, you know, he's gonna come off the bus and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, you know, chase him down and get a hug. And sure enough, they come walking because they come through right field at, at old Shea Stadium. And I see Tommy coming in and I start coming over to him, give him a hug, and he starts sprinting away from me. Because he really honestly, beside this old man sprinting away, and I'm laughing, I run over and I, I, I grab him from behind. He's like, get off me, get off me. You know, he really believed that that was going to hurt the Dodgers if I get, if he gave me a hug. Wait, did you homer that day? No, because he, he didn't give me the hug back. So that's <laughs> Do you have any Vince Scully memories? Um, so my first year with the Dodgers, I mean, literally my first month in you know the regular season, um, I was standing on deck one day and I looked down and my batting glove was red. And I didn't have time to go all the way back to get a new pair of batting gloves. So I went up, I hit, and I go, hit a home run. And then I just threw the batting gloves in, in, in the stands. And and on air, Ben Scully said, oh, I guess that's something that, you know, the new guy, Sean, does when he hits a home run, he throws his batting gloves to the kids. And, and Mitch, who you know, ran the clubhouse, he's like, yeah, Ben just said you get a value. Is that something you do? I said, no, that's a pretty good idea. And so from that point on, I'd always give my value gloves out when I go home run at, at Dodger Stadium. When Dodger fans approach you out when you're out and about, what's the one thing they want to talk to you about? Yeah, I mean, the Dodger fans love talking about my full homer game. I mean, that's, uh, which is nice. It's nice to be remembered for something like that, as opposed to the, the times I struck out four times in the game. So that <laughs> happened more times than, than the other. But, um, so yeah, so they, they want to talk about that. And, um, you know, that's, that's a fun thing to talk about because it was, you know, it was a, you know, a great memory and definitely one that, you know, I, I was fortunate that the stars all lined up perfectly that day because, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of luck that comes with that, and, and, uh, and that's that's the, the one highlight that people remember the most. So Greenfly, software company, develop um, technology for for sports and entertainment. What is? Tell me a little bit more. Yeah, so it's it's a you know kind of two sides to it. It's a back end. You know, it's a workflow tool, um, and there's an app. So we work with a ton of leagues around the world. When the Dodgers won the World Series, for example. We had a product that was recently released called Engage, which is a way for a team or any organization to request and collect um, videos and photos from people. So they, they sent out something on the Dodgers social channels like, hey, send your videos of your celebration or where you were. So I'm sure if you've seen some of the highlight clips of them mixing things together with highlights from the, from the World Series with fans reacting to it, like that stuff all came through Greenfly, which is super cool. And then this year they've done something um, innovative as well, where they're doing this Dodgers at home, where um, fans can sign up and you get, you know, a, a quarterly box of like cool merchandise. But the other part of it is you, you hit Greenfly on your phone and then you get access to these galleries of photos from, you know, in real time or, or historic things. It's kind of fun for me to have had the, the playing experience there and then now, you know, working with a whole different group on the Dodgers side and, and some of this, um, the innovative kind of tech and, and content side.